we're just coming up to Swindon Lock and uh, unfortunately it's still windy and that is where we were moored at Swindon Moorings so uh, yeah let's go in there uh, do the lock which should be empty because this the bottom gates leak on this one so uh, hopefully it'll be empty let's see yeah this locks always empty the bottom gates leak so much on here Swindon Lock. Now we're off to Marsh Lock, which is just up there. This is us just approaching Marsh Lock. If you've got any luck, it'll be empty as well, but I've got a feeling this one doesn't leak. Bike stop winded. Come on then, boys. I shan't turn the engine off this time because um, I had a flat battery earlier so uh, I think my bilge pump, the float switch on the bilge pump is gone and it left the bilge pump on all the time which killed my battery so anyway it's all sorted now and this is Marsh Lock we better get on and drop it
boys, you gonna let me on? Good lads. The sun's actually come out and the wind's dropped. This is amazing. up a bit further back because it's stupid fishermen uh, not to worry come on and this is bottom lock bottom staircase lock which is basically two locks joined together bottom lock and above there is another lock and what we need to do is we need to empty the bottom lock fill the top lock and then put the um, top lock into the bottom lock basically so uh, first of all we've got to get the boat in so let's just go and see what's happening with the top lock because we want that one full so let's go to the top lock as you can see this is the top lock and it is uh it's full so let's go and drain the bottom lock and get the bow in there every time i start recording video the wind picks up it's not my day and this is uh the lock chamber the lower lock chamber so we'll be going in there in a minute we'll just walk all the way back to get the boat those are the blooming fishermen He's actually not a bad bloke. Come on, Arch. Yeah, this is inside lock chamber of uh, the lower chamber of Botteringham. Botteringham, not even. So all that there is full to the brim of water, and we're going to drop that into this lock, and the two locks should level, and then we'll open the top gates and uh, go into the second chamber, the top chamber. YouTube larks hard work. Alright, just walking up to the top and it's a bit windy up here I'm afraid so apologies for the sound. This is a uh, a temporary problem and the microphone is on order. So lock's full, bottom lock's empty. Let's empty this one. Into that one, you can see the boat down there. Just show you over the top here. Actually no. And uh and then get the two locks level. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Let's go see what the woodcuts are doing. You alright boys? The boat's starting to come up now, see the uh, the lock levels 
that join in. What happens sometimes is uh, if the lock's really full at the top, it can uh, overshoot. Now, because that lock was so full, what can happen sometimes is there's a little uh, mechanism here called spill wear. And uh, what happens is that levels the lock. So that slide there goes all the way around then back out and down the bottom. So the lock can't overflow. Um, we've actually just done some concreting on here last week. So you can just see the, the new section down there. The lock was closed for a week whilst I did it. And there's two whinging dogs. I'm not sure what's worse, a wind noise or spike. So now we'll see the water come over the top. And there's two whinging dogs. Come on, off you get them. This way. Looks like the top gate's leaking. So we better be careful when we come into the lock so we don't flood the front of the boat. And there's the boat. Right, so we're just going into the second chamber now. The old spillway is still going, see, because um, of the leaky top gate. So, I may have to, oh, oh, we've got some on the prop. Oh no, it's gone, that's good. Because the locks haven't been used so much lately. Um, there's a lot of uh, wood, trunks and branches and all that in the canal which uh, tend to argue with your propeller um, this would probably explain why the, why the, um, the top gate was full um, the top lock even was full and it's even windy in the lock I've got to get this microphone. Apologies. If you want to get away from that front, you do not want to flood the boat. I've already nearly sank the boat once already this year. Don't want to be doing it a second time. Right, go do the lock. Man, it's a slimy one. Uh, let's get them gates shut. Hey, Arch. Hey! Dog's whinging again. Get up, Winger! Wind and whip it. Oi! Right.
Come on, Jim, then. That's it. Go down, then come out the back. Good boys. Go on, then. Half kiss. Jump. I can't stay here for you, lads. I've got a lot to do. Beer break. <laughs> and that's bottom done. And this is us just entering the outskirts of Wombourne. This is us just coming up to Wombourne Bridge. If you want to get, you're coming this way and you need some shopping, stop on the other side of this bridge and there's a Sainsbury's, literally, just behind that pylon. This is us in the suburbs of Wombourne now. And uh, back in Legoland, heading for the countryside. And that's us moored. Well, we were moored. It's so blooming windy at the moment. But, um, every time I try to moor, I keep blowing away. And uh, quite weird, actually. I just bumped into somebody who recognised me. <laughs> it's a subscriber, so amazing. Thank you very much, all you subscribers out there. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. <laughs> anyway, I better go. I've got to moor up. Thanks. It's all in the poor. For the uh, watching the video, um, it wasn't meant to be windy today, but um, it's been really windy, which has been a bit of a problem with the microphone, as you know. Apologies, like I said, one is on order. I've spent nearly 100 quid on the microphone, um, and uh, it will be for me soon. Um, next vlog, we're going to do the bratch uh, B R A T C H. If you want to YouTube it, uh, it's not a YouTube, but you go YouTube it or Google it. Oh, I've got two dogs singing at me here. And uh, yeah, this really is a spectacle of Victorian engineering. So um, it's just up uh, probably about a kilometre away from us at the moment. So uh, yeah, we'll be going through the bratch up to Allbridge. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.